Framework has been absolutely cooking lately. I've reviewed the Framework Laptop and the Framework Laptop 16, and this is their newest addition. This is the Framework Laptop 12, and it is a competitor to Chromebooks, Ultrabooks, even the M4 MacBook Air. This is a 12 inch convertible touchscreen device and it starts at just 550 bucks if you want the DIY edition where you provide your own storage and RAM and operating system. It starts at $800 pre-configured. Ooh, look at this. Now, as you'd expect for Framework, one of my favorite things about this company is that they have fun with it. We've got a green plastic construction, but they're kind of unapologetic about the budget restraints of this. It is a plastic build, but around the edges is all rubberized. So this thing is durable. It's great for school, for kids. Now, normally when you're unboxing a laptop, you open it up and turn it on, but Framework does things differently because the thing has to be built first. First of all, I love this little protective cover that we get and take a look at all of this modularity. The speakers can be easily removed with a couple of screws. Here's where our single channel memory will go. Storage down here, replaceable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, and super easy, just four or five screws to get our logic board out. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again, Framework is basically the anti-MacBook and I love this approach to building a device. So let's literally build this Framework Laptop 12 and see how it compares to cheaper Windows laptops or an M4 MacBook Air and the like, right after a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Ampace. Their new Andes 1500 is a high performance portable power station designed for extreme environments. It's perfect for disaster preparedness, outdoor adventure, and eco-friendly living. Designed to work anywhere, Andes 1500 can maintain 80% of its power capacity even at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes packed with ports including USB-A, USB-C, 12 volt car outlet, DC 5521, and AC power outlets. And that's good for charging up to 13 devices at once with an AC output of 2400 watts. With this kind of versatility, you can really go anywhere. Even on a day out in the park, I can still microwave a burrito while also charging my phone and this MacBook. At 36.8 pounds and packing nearly 1500 watt hours, Andy's 1500 is perfect for all situations. And now for Amazon Prime Day, enjoy more than 50% off, priced now at just $5.99 as part of their regular series wide discounts. To learn more, check out the link in the description down below and use my coupon code for 5% off. A big thanks to Ampace for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to it. So let's start by checking out what we get in the box and this is honestly one one of the only tech products where the unboxing is still really exciting because there is so much going on here. First of all, what is this? Oh, we've got a little sticker booklet as well as our normal documentation. Look at that. So you can add some little stickers to customize it. I mean, you just gotta love this super fun approach to building a device. What else do we have? Okay, power cord. We've got our power adapter. This is something that you can choose not to purchase if you'd like to save a little bit of money. I also love that we get a little color matched screwdriver to match the Sage color of the framework. That is a very nice touch. In my kit here, we also have a Western Digital SSD. This is one terabyte. And below that we have 16 gigabytes of memory. So if you purchase these add-ons through Frameworks website, you'll get them in the box. You can also bring your own. Now the other thing that we've got here are a bunch of expansion cards. This is Frameworks PS de Resistance. And now the last thing that we'll find in the box here, and this is new for Framework, is a stylus because for the first time, we now have a touch screen. A lot of you guys have been begging Apple to do a touch screen for years and years and years, but Framework beat them to the punch after just five years of existing as a company. But now that we've got everything laid out, let's go ahead and assemble our Framework Laptop 12. I gotta say, it sure is fun to have a little bit of DIY before you get to use your laptop. Man, look at that little tiny SSD. One terabyte does not take up as much space as it used to. There's a little pad underneath to make sure that everything seats properly and 
check out this no screw SSD mounting system. It's just a little clip that pops it up and holds it down. Look at that. Okay, RAM next, we've got 16 gigabytes of DDR5 single channel memory. And that is honestly the biggest drawback to this platform because it's so thin. Uh, we only have a single RAM slot. So you're only gonna get single channel speeds and it can only support up to 48 gigabytes in that single slot. But now that we've got SSD and RAM, let's go ahead and put it back together, which means putting on the input cover, the keyboard and trackpad. And this also is one of my favorite new things about the Framework Laptop 12. Obviously, you gotta connect the keyboard and the trackpad to the rest of the system. And you might notice there's no ribbon cable. Well, Framework has a new system. It's these pads and pogo pins on the board. So that's right, you literally just drop it in like so. There's a little magnet over here that holds the keyboard down and that's it. But with the keyboard on, let's turn it over and we can screw in all of our captive screws. That's right, you can't lose them if they don't come out. My goodness, they really thought of everything. So now all that's left to do is pick our IO and I think we're gonna need Let's go with uh, three USB-C and HDMI for now, and we'll leave these off to the side and check it out. They are, of course, color matched. Now, that is going to be one downside if you wanted to build a cohesive color matched Framework Laptop 12. If you already have some of these expansion cards, then you would have to buy new ones to get them to match the color. But Framework also has a bunch of really cool custom options, like you can get these really sick translucent ones. Look at that, that is so cool. Honestly, I think for right now, I wanna keep these stealthy, all matched appearance. So we're gonna go for quad USB-C. So there we have our fully assembled Framework Laptop 12. So why don't we go ahead and get this thing all set up and then we can see how it compares to other devices like a MacBook Air. So I've now had a couple of days to play around with the Framework Laptop 12, and I have to say I am impressed with Framework's commitment to modularity, even in a form factor like this. It's thin, it's light, it's a compact device, and it has a convertible touchscreen, but they haven't really sacrificed the core principles that make it a framework. That being said, however, I do think that this is a less successful device than the regular framework laptop and the 16 that I reviewed earlier. The Framework Laptop 16 is the ultimate expression of what Framework stands for. It has not only upgradable storage and RAM, but replaceable graphics cards, and a keyboard that can be moved around and accessorized. It is maximum customization. And the Framework Laptop 12 does continue that trend. We have upgradable RAM and storage. It's easy to swap out internal components and everything is well designed. But overall, the product is less compelling. First of all, there's the price. At $550 without RAM or storage, that puts the framework in a weird middle ground where it's more expensive than a Chromebook and not quite as expensive as a mid-range Windows laptop. But once you start to configure this thing and add additional ports, put RAM and storage in it like I have, this spec is over $1,000. And at that point, I would pick a MacBook Air. There's just not really any question about it. First of all, there are the processors that Framework went with for these. They offer this with a 13th generation Core i3 or i5. I have the i5 and this thing is really slow. I ran Cinebench 2024 and it is significantly behind even an M1 MacBook Air. So for an $800 laptop, it doesn't really cut it. And the benefit, of course, with Framework is that you can upgrade the logic board. That's what they did with the original Framework laptop. But the device's package as a whole doesn't feel like a particularly good value. First of all, there's the 12 inch screen. It's a great panel. It has excellent brightness and contrast, but the bezels are enormous. And the plastic construction, well, very durable, does feel a little bit cheap. So this laptop is a little bit stuck in an awkward position. It seems like Framework is angling this thing towards an education market, 
And while I think a school IT deployment with you know 300 laptops might appreciate how easy it is to replace damaged components, I don't know that there's that many of them that are actually going to be pursuing upgrades. Most IT departments in schools tend to buy laptops in bulk, deploy their software on them, and then wait until they get broken and then replace them. Now look, hopefully Framework can change that because a lot of school districts will either go very budget and get Chromebooks or they'll buy MacBook Airs in bulk as part of an education discount. This kind of falls somewhere in the middle, so it could represent an, a viable third option. But as a consumer device, I think it's a bit of a tougher sell. Single channel memory, that very slow processor, it holds this thing back from its true potential. I think that if Framework wanted to build the ultimate portable, repairable 12 inch laptop, they should have gone a little bit more upmarket and a little bit more compact. Thinner bezels, thinner overall profile, newer processors, higher price, aluminum construction. That's the direction that I probably would have gone. But I do applaud them for trying to break into this new market. And I think that this is a really well-designed convertible laptop. I've never seen one that's this repairable, modular, and upgradable. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you think that Framework is onto something with the Laptop 12, or do you think that their original offerings were a bit more successful? I'll tell you what I am extremely excited for, though, and that is Framework's first desktop. It's gonna be coming out later this year. I literally cannot wait to get my hands on it. I would love for Apple to have some competition in the Mac Mini and Mac Studio space. So get subscribed if you wanna see my review of that and I will work on getting in touch with Framework again to get my hands on that device when it's ready. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like down below and don't forget to comment and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.